So welcome back to our next tutorial in which we'll be discussing the next operation. Okay, so now what should we do? We are going to finish these surfaces. You remember we left 10 thou in our radial, 10 thou on our axial on both uh, all these surfaces that we just machined. So we might want to pick, um, or we might be tempted to pick uh, another 2D adaptive clearing, um, but there's a better way. Let's go to something called a 3D flat tool path. This is a really cool tool path that is underutilized. So let's pick our tool. We're gonna go to our quarter inch flat end mill here. Now our geometry, we don't even need to pick anything, but our heights, we are going to pick our, this is our bottom and our top height. We don't want it to machine these flats. It will recognize every flat plane or flat surface on our part and machine them. So we don't want it to machine the top. We've already done that with our face mill. Actually, we haven't. So I'll show you how to do that. Anyways, for our top height, we are just going to drop this 10th out. There we go. Passes our step over. Remember, it's a quarter inch tool, so 175 is fine. We can leave a finishing pass. Our finishing step over is going to be 10th out. That's how much on our, on our radial uh, uh, stock that we've left. And everything looks good. Now look at this tool path. Beautiful. And let's just remove some of our um, wasted or our, our retractions there. We're going to go minimum as well. Minimum stay down distance half an inch. Uh, yeah, let's, well, let's just keep that. Okay, so this is a beautiful tool path. Not only is it a beautiful tool, pa tool path, but our actual uh, machining marks or machining lines will be on our finished part. Uh, will look beautiful as well. So let's go simulate, see what this looks like. There we go. And you can see that it takes a 10 thou uh, radial cut to finish, which is perfect. Awesome. Let's exit our simulation there. So one thing I am noticing is our, if we go there, our stock here is a uh, flush with our bottom of these posts, or this this is our second setup. So we actually need to go all the way back to our uh, our original setup, go to stock. Our top has an offset, but our bottom does not have an offset. So let's go there to 40 thou. And in real life, we do not have stock that is uh, an uneven number or not rounded to a, a, a more sensible number. Right now, we would never buy stock that's 6.455 inches. So we can actually round up to the nearest and we can go 50 thou. And now here's a much more sensible stock that we would order, six and a half by two by two. And we have some stock on this as well. So let's go okay. Great, we need to regenerate everything here. And we can actually generate it uh, from our main parent folder. And we will notice that I didn't create a facing operation in setup two. We can just copy this and paste it in setup two. Perfect. Let's pick setup two and it will automatically orient because we have synced our active view or our current setup to the active view. Great. We can regenerate our facing operation. And now let's simulate. Oh, I've done the 2D adaptive here. Sorry. Face, we've got to bring our face into the first operation. There we go. It's going to regenerate everything. Let's simulate now. Beautiful. So click on the top right of your screen to watch the next tutorial. See you then.